আউজু বিল্লাহ রজিম বিসমিল্লাহিম আই উল এক্সপ্লেন ইনশাল্লাহ দ্য দু আজ টু রিসাইট ইফ সামবডি ইজ এ ফ্রেড অফ জিন ও শায়তিন ইন উড টু গে প্রোটেকশন ফ্রম আল্লাহ সুমান আল্লাহ এগেন্স দেম if uh, somebody is afraid that they or they feel a presence of jinn or shayateen in their house or nearby outside or if a child is having nightmares or indeed an adult is having nightmares then they can recite any of the following duas or more one more than one or all of them as they need to and they can either blow on their own hands and wipe their body or someone else can recite the dua and blow on them or they can just recite the dua um and uh, and hope allah would, will help them inshallah any of these methods are uh, okay um what why do we recite these duas because if the jinn and the shayateen are trying to harm the son of adam or the daughter of adam then if Uh, is it used as an example as in if we humans are the lambs and the wolf is trying to attack us or harm us and then the wolf is the jinn or the shayateen then the lambs are protected by the shepherd so it's a metaphor so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more powerful than any jinn or any shaitan indeed of, or any thing so we ask Allah to protect us and we seek refuge in Allah from that which can harm us and that is the best way to seek protection and not to get a tabiz and tie it around your neck or your arm or your leg or any other part that is not the sunnah sunnah is to recite quran or a dua and ask allah to protect you and the jinn they are afraid of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when you describe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or mention his name or indeed read the surahs or the duas that mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the punishments that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the shayateen for their evil actions that scares them and that is often enough for them to um, go away other duas result in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sending angels to drive the jinn away so these are the duas that you can recite okay I will repeat each one three times but you don't have to recite it three times you can recite it once or as many times as you want um sometimes three times is a sunnah for reciting some things like surah ikhlas so the first thing you can do um is the last two verses of surah baqarah the last two verses of surah baqarah according to the hadith of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you recite them before you go to sleep then nothing can harm you that night and it's enough for you just those two to ayahs so this starts with amana rasulu bima unzila ilayhi min rabbihi wal mu'minun and finishes with fansuruna alal kaumil kafirin so these are the last two ayahs of surah baqarah okay you can also recite so number two you can recite ayatul kursi this is the 255th ayah of surah baqarah ayatul kursi is a description of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his qualities his attributes in such a way that when the jinn hear this they are afraid and they run away and the hadith of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say that if you recite this ayah in the after maghrib then nothing will harm you until fajr and if you recite this ayah ayah after fajr then nothing will harm you until maghrib number 3 the four surahs beginning with kul at the end of the quran so qul ya ayyuhal kafirun qul qul huwa allahu ahad qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas you can recite these once each or three times each okay number 4 you can recite surah ikhlas just that surah on its own three times so that's qul huwa allahu ahad allahus samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad You can also recite the last two surahs of the Quran, Surah Falaq and Surah Nas, once or three times each. Okay, number f- number six, you can say simply say A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. That is enough 
for the angels to drive the shaitan away. If he comes back, and you can know if he's near, because if you start thinking evil thoughts, it means the shaitan is whispering to you. Or if you feel something, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim, in the first instance. You could also say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. If you say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, all the jinn, the good ones and the bad ones, will go away from you. So, sometimes um, the ulama, they say that if, um, they say that if uh, you want the children to jump around in the room and play, then say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim before they jump around. In case there are some jinn that are living in the house and they're in the room somewhere and the children jump on top of them and annoy them, in which case they might give them nightmares. So if you say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, the jinn they will go away, and that includes the the Muslim jinn as well. If you say that, they will go away. You could say La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-aliyyul azim. This is a dua that will cause the shaitans to run away. You can say Hasbun Allahu wa ni'mal wakil. Or in a shorter form, you can say Hasbi Allah. Or in a longer form of the same dua, you can say Hasbun Allahu wa ni'mal wakil wa ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal nasir. And finally, there is a ayah of the Quran that if the jinn hear it, they they are afraid and they go away. It's fa inna hu Sulaiman wa inna hu Bismillah hi Rahman Rahim. I repeat that fa inna hu Sulaiman wa inna hu Bismillah hi Rahman Rahim. Fa inna hu Sulaiman wa inna hu Bismillah hi Rahman Rahim. And this is because uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Sulaiman alayhi salam power over the jinn and he was able to control them and command them and trap them and imprison them etc and punish them. And to this day they are still afraid of the name of Sulaiman alayhi salam. And they are also na- afraid of Bismillah rahman rahim I hope that these du'as will be useful to you. I will just repeat them again. So one, the last two verses of Surah Baqarah, two, Ayatul Kursi, three, the four surahs beginning with Kul at the end of the Quran, four, Surah Ikhlas three times, five, Surah Falak and Surah Nas together once or three times, six, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, which means I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Shaitan. 7. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, which means in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. 8. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al aliyyul azim, which means there is no strength and there is no power except from Allah, the great, the highest and the great, the greatest. Um, number nine, Hasbun Allah wa Ni'mal Wakil, which means Allah is enough for us and He is the best protector. And number ten, Fa Inna Hu Sulaiman wa Inna Hu Bismillahi Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, um, which means and and sh- surely from Sulaiman and surely from in the name of Allah are the most gracious, the most merciful. Again, I hope that these du'as will be useful to you, insha'Allah, and may Allah protect you and your family from the shaitan and the jinn. Fi amanillah wa barakatuh lahu fihi.